Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, as sort of a Wizard of Oz dream come true to follow the brick road. <laughs> the brick road ramblers were fine, weren't they? Yeah. And, yeah. What a treat to hear Megan Hicks and, uh, and our friend Busy earlier in the show. And thank you very much for staying around for this part of the show. Banjo, might as well play it. Joe Clark was a rambling man, preached all over the plains. Only sermon that he ever gave was high, low, jack in the game. Round, round, old Joe Clark, round, around, I say. Round, around, old Joe Clark, I hear banjo play. I went down to Joe Clark's house, he invited me to supper. I stubbed my toe on the table leg and stuck my nose in the butter. Mm. Round, around, old Joe Clark, round, around, I say. Round, around, old Joe Clark, I hear banjo play. Old Joe Clark had a yellow cat, could neither sing nor pray. Stuck its head in a buttermilk jar and washed its sins away. Hmm, round around, old Joe Clark, round around, I say. Round around, old Joe Clark, I hear banjo play. Never marry a Yankee maid, to tell you the reason why. She blows her nose in old corn braid and calls it pumpkin pie. Oh, round, round, old Joe Clark, round, around, I say. Round, around, old Joe Clark, I hear banjo play. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, people in Akron have made some amazing decisions about what to do with tax dollars, and this is the result of an amazing set of decisions. So, congratulations. And thanks to the library for the decision to invite me to come here. So that this is a really a, a great treat. And such nice timing. I got to see the Italian American Festival uh, last night. And uh, the, the motorcycle parking lot in the middle of the street who were getting ready to go to the concert. And a baseball game last night. So the timing has been really, really fine for me. It's been great to be here in Akron. Chicken walks into the library. Goes up to the librarian and goes, Walk! So the librarian gives the chicken a book. Next day, the chicken's back. Book, book. Two books. Next day, the chicken's back. Book, book, book. Three books. Librarian says to herself, I think I'm going to follow this chicken, see what's going on here. Next day, the chicken's back. Book, 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 book. Four books, two under each wing. Out the door, the chicken goes. The librarian follows the chicken down the road into the woods. In the middle of the woods, there's a pond. Next to the pond, there's a frog. The chicken walks over to the frog, puts down the books, Opens the first book to the first page. Read it. Read it. Read it. <laughs> so I was down in North Carolina helping a friend dig out a spring. Spent my whole day up to my knees in the mud, and I've come up with this song, the Mud Miner Song. There is a chorus. When we get to it, I'll invite you to join with me. Well, I'm just a mud miner from the hills of North Carolina. I've been mining mud since I was barely three. Well, there ain't any mud any finer than the mud in North Carolina. So come on, baby, and mine some mud with me. Here's the chorus. Everybody. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> we can mine it in the morning. We can mine it in the afternoon. We can mine that mud until the break of dawn. We'll get rich and buy a condo, many of them outside of Asheville. 
and mind that mud. Underneath our artificial front lawn. Chorus. Hang on to your bridge work. Bring it home. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you.